I want to be all about real world horsepower. I don't want to be one of these guys who looks good, but has nothing under the hood. Hey guys, my name is Bobby Maximus. If you haven't heard of me, let me introduce myself. I fought professionally in the UFC and I trained a bunch of people in the tier one special operations military community. I've written a best-selling book and I've been named one of the 100 fittest people to ever walk the planet Earth by Men's Health. We are here to get a personal one-on-one -on -one look into what I do in the gym on a daily basis. Now the gym itself, it's not pretty. We don't like fancy, we like stuff grimy and dirty. We are here for one reason and one reason alone. It's to get our asses to work. So what is a Bobby Maximus workout comprised of? There are three components. Number one is feeling good. I want to feel good. I want to be injury free. I want to be able to go up and down the stairs without knee pain, get out of bed in the morning without back pain. Being a professional fighter, I've had a lot of miles on this body. So I've got to look after some old injuries. At the same time, I'm 42 years old. Now that may seem old, but I still have half of my life ahead of me. I wanna be good when I'm 50, good when I'm 60, good when I'm 70. So I've gotta address that in the gym. So there's the feel good component. The number two component is performance. I want to be all about real world horsepower. I don't wanna be one of these guys who looks good, but has nothing under the hood. I wanna be able to show up anywhere, anytime, whether that's training with my NFL guys or training with my NBA guys, and I want to represent myself accordingly. Respect is earned and I try to earn that every damn day. The third thing, third component is looking good. I wanna be able to take my shirt off anywhere, anytime and be proud. So if that's on the big screen, if that's a cover of Men's Health, hell, if it's at the beach just walking around or hanging out, I wanna be proud of what I've got so there's a look good component too. So today, I'm gonna to take you through a workout and show you those three components. An important part of training for me is being injury free and feeling good. One of the ways I accomplish that is through mobility work. I always start my workout with these things called wall squats that help with my Achilles mobility, my hip mobility, my back mobility. Just line up against the wall, face to the wall, and try to get as low as you can. I'll always start the workout with a couple sets of five of these just to warm everything up and get moving. So sometimes I look for ways to make these wall squats harder. The way you make it harder is by holding a weight overhead. It's almost like an overhead squat and a wall squat had a baby. So I'm really big on this feel good component of the workout. I want to stay injury free for the rest of my life. So I push the envelope with mobility. One of my favorite exercises is the overhead squat. Nothing will sort out your core or your mobility like putting a big weight overhead. Big's a relative term. I'm only using 225 today, well under my one rep max, but I'm trying to keep the form tight, consistent. And again, this is about feeling good right now, not performing good. That'll come a little later in the workout. One of the ways I double bang work is I clean the bar up to the rack every single time. So not only am I getting five to six overhead squats, I'm also getting five to six power cleans. So the feel good component of the workout, we are through with that, we've done all our mobility work. Now it's time to focus on real world horsepower, functional fitness, performing well. One of the ways I develop real world horsepower is a grind explode combo. So a heavyish lift, followed by an explosive movement. So I do a lot of this lift, jump combination type work. Today is gonna to be a deadlift, followed by an explosive band jump, and uh, we'll see what happens. So I like these, what I call escalating warm-ups. You know, I, I might do five reps at a lightweight, uh, put a little bit of weight on the bar, do a couple more reps, put a little bit more on, do a couple more reps, and then I'm ready for the working sets. All right, so we are at the main event of the workout, the meal. We've had our appetizer, and this is our like main serving, and we are hungry, and we are gonna eat. 495 on the bar, nothing too heavy, just enough to feel it and keep the bar moving with some semblance of speed. Speed and power, uh, generally more important to athletics than just raw strength. Couple of reps of this, followed up by five explosive banded jumps. 
maybe do four, five, or six sets of that, and we're gonna build that real world horsepower I was talking about earlier. All right, we are getting ready to lift. Notice, no belt, no straps, no knee wraps, no chalk, no fake ass in this house. It is just all me. Look at that bar bend. It's not bending, it ain't got enough weight on it. Here we go. We're gonna get over to these banded jumps. Tuck in, and lift off. Continuing with the performance theme, who's the greatest jumper of all time? You're thinking it's LeBron, you're thinking it's MJ, it is neither. Super Mario, nobody makes those jumps with that kind of power and agility other than Mario. So today, Homemade Super Mario Brothers. We got 405 on a hex bar. I'm gonna lift it. I'm gonna jump out of it onto this little jump circuit I've made. That's where the Super Mario Brothers comes in. And uh, you know, I don't know, five, eight, ten sets. I, I kind of do this by feel. Uh, I, I just go till I'm done. Now it's time to look good. I'm into vanity. I want to look good anywhere I go. Uh, usually finish off the workout with a little bit of bench press uh, and then some push-ups, pull-ups, and dips. So for the bench press, nothing too complicated. Uh, three sets of 10 to 15 reps. Nice, slow, controlled tempo. So finishing off on the look good aspect of a Bobby Maximus workout, nothing makes you look better than old school prison exercises. So I actually call it the holy trinity. So every workout I ever do, I end with 50 pull-ups, 50 dips, 50 push-ups done with perfect form. All right, so for the push-ups and the pull-ups and the dips, it can be done any order, any set, and any rep number. I just try to get 50 slow quality muscle building reps. All right, you guys, that's a Bobby Maximus workout. We started with a couple of sets of wall squats. We did five overhead squats with 225, and we did a power clean after every rep to get it back on the rack. Then we went into the main event, the meat and potatoes of the workout. We did some deadlifts followed by some banded jumps, and then we played homemade Super Mario Brothers. Remember, that man is the greatest jumper of all time and we finished with the vanity muscles. Three sets of 15 bench presses and 50 push-ups, pull-ups, and dips. So it covered the three components of the Bobby Maximus workout. We wanna feel good and be injury free. We wanna look sexy, because that's important, and we wanna perform at the highest athletic level on the planet. Thank you guys for uh, coming to train with me today in my grimy gym and getting after it. <laughs>